in question A, when and whenever you see. So again, in part B, looking at this, I would say if in doubt. So in part B, we were given that this is um, the same as 33 ln of 2p squared. So if we just start from the premise that we're looking at, 33 ln of 2p squared being less than zero, um, want the set of values of that, I always find it helpful to um, draw my graph, my log graph. So actually start with my exponential graph. So this is y equals e to the x, always goes through 1, 0, 1 there. And the ln graph is the um, inverse of that. So it goes through 1 at that point. Remembering there a reflection in the line y equals x. Um, and then this from the graph, I can read off some of the nature of ln. Um, and I can see here that uh, ln of x um, is only defined for x is greater than 0. There's an asymptote when x is equal to 0, and it takes on no values at all. It's not defined at all um, for x less than 0. Um, I can also see that ln of x can be positive or negative, and uh, my negative values of ln on this section here are for when um, in that part there. So for when x is less than 1 and greater than 0, uh, ln of x is less than 0. Ln, ln is negative there. Uh, and I can also see from my graph ln of 1 is equal to 0. So it's quite powerful just doing this little sketch. And then if my um, if inside my ln is positive, then I can see that, um, uh, sorry, it's greater than 1, I can see that ln would be positive. So a lot of information from that little sketch. Here I am looking for values that have uh, ln negative. Well, that has to be for this argument inside here, 2p squared must be less than 1 um, and it must also be greater than 0. It has to be within that region. So based on that, I can divide through by 2. p squared must be less than a half and then I can square root. Um, I'm not going to uh, negative square root, it can't go negative. So less than the positive square root of uh, a half, so 1 over root 2. So that's my range of values. It asks for the answers in set notation. Well, you can just put some curly brackets around p such that it satisfies that. Um, and you could add on p belongs to real numbers. OK. And mark schemes um, on the next slide. Pause them if you want to go through those. I think they're the same as what I've just gone through, what I've just done. Okay. Okay.